Pac-Man never had it this hard. Sure, it's no picnic trying to chomp your way through mazes while being chased by the undead, but it's not like he had spikes to contend with. Pink has a heck of a job ahead of him as he attempts to escape the clutches of Shadow in EVAC, but with a bit of foresight and a few power-ups, you'll be able to turn the tide in your favour. Given that your only goal is to move around a neon 2D maze, the controls are kept equally simple, with a simple dot acting as a centre point for what amounts to a virtual D-pad. Players can move the pad to a location that best suits them, though shoving it far into the corner or into the middle of the screen isn't advised. You'll need all the agility you can get as you attempt to outwit the aggressive red blocks that will sap your energy. However, yellow blocks can be used to block paths or areas to give yourself additional time and room to move in. Each level features one or more miniature puzzles to solve, either in the form of timing your way through traps, hiding from enemies, or even circuban style switch puzzles to access hidden areas. The neon visuals do get a bit tiring after a while, though at best this is a minor complaint, as the artwork and story pair together perfectly. Once you're done with the game's 24 levels, you can compete online for high scores, but integration with one or more popular social services would have been preferred over a private one. It's the mix of gameplay elements ranging from action to puzzle and even stealth that helps to keep EVAC exciting from start to finish. Definitely recommended for casual and hardcore gamers alike. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.